Jody Holtzman with AARP, and I am uh, speaking here with the new CIO of uh, Optum of uh, United Healthcare. Alistair, why don't you just start out? Just tell us a little bit about your your new role, what you did, uh, you know, before this. Sure. So uh, for the last four years, I've actually been the CIO for Medicare and Retirement for United Health Group. Uh, as of Monday, I'm moving to Optum to play an IT role in the development of Optum as a services organization. I also own enterprise data and enterprise business architecture. That's great. So, you know, one of the issues that keeps coming up around every health innovation conference, every discussion about the importance of technology, of data in the future of healthcare really comes down to how can we get costs out of the system at the same time as we improve uh, the quality of health as well as health outcomes. So kind of based on your experience as well as uh, where you see the opportunity in the new role, how, how would you kind of frame that, that issue? Well, uh, data is clearly the key to everything, or should I say information is the key to anything. So understanding the data we have and turning it into meaningful information that gives us better insights as to how we operate, how we treat people, uh, and I mean clinically, um, is going to be the answer to reducing cost. So data can only help us, and the better we understand our data and the more effectively we control our data, the more likely it is that we will be able to reduce cost. So you've gone from, you know, focusing on older population, now you're going to be dealing with everybody, really. Is there low-hanging fruit that, that you see? Where, where's the, where, where's going to be the nexus of, of, of activity? Uh, I don't know that I'd call it low-hanging fruit so much as a refocus of, as to where we are looking. I think uh, historically we've tended to look at the provider and the payer, us, uh, we haven't spent enough time looking directly at the consumer. I think we need to understand more about how the consumer sees the health environment, the healthcare environment. I think we need to better understand how to engage the consumer, and I mean before they get sick as opposed to after they get sick, uh, and how to make the uh, value proposition for the consumer meaningful such that they want to participate in the process. And so with the, the focus on value, one of the challenges that the payers are, are going to have going forward is it's, it's almost we're going back to managed care 2.0. So you're going to have a set amount of money and rather than paying for health care, you're going to get paid to keep people out of the hospital, out of the health care system. Where's the, 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 where, where are the pressure points that, that you see there and how can data maybe help in that? Um, I don't want to predict any politics as to what will happen from a care uh, system perspective, but I think ultimately what we're looking for is a better longitudinal view of the consumer's world and life and a better vertical view of the pieces of the system that hang together for us in order to support the consumer. And again, data can only help us improve our understanding of both of those perspectives. Uh, we, we have uh, at United around uh, 70 million uh, active members and something like 200 million members information uh, from the past and if we can mine that more effectively, uh, gain insights from it more effectively, we can improve the information that we give to our physicians who will then in turn improve the information they give to the consumer. Uh, so having said that, I think uh, data is also going to be critical in improving the way the consumer acts as well as the way the providers act. So quality delivery of service and quality in uh, self-preventative care, um, social tools to enable uh, each other helping one another to stay well and so on. We've heard all about those in the last few sessions. So if we're having this discussion a year from now or five years from now, how's this conversation different? Uh, it, it's different in that we are, technology is allowing us to gather information more effectively. Uh, it's going to accelerate our understanding of people, how they act, um, the system, providers, and the way in which we deal with the information. Uh, it, it, to me, it's a little bit like the Industrial Revolution uh, or the, you know, the, um, the pre and post of a particular sea change in any technology. I think we're at a sea change point relative to the way that we manage data. Well, I hope uh, that's exactly what we see. 
Thanks so much and uh, enjoy the conference.